morning students Ashar Adil this side from Gateway School this is a new video for class 9th this time chapter 2 the poem wind as we have started the literary devices explanation series and this is the second video of that series today we will look at few literary devices which have been used in the poem wind now i am not going to tell you the rhyme scheme because you already know how to do that alliteration the first figure of speech uh, you can read the poem there are many instances of alliteration alliteration meaning two or more words start with the same consonant sound so go and find and do that it's very easy second is personification does this poem have any example of personification well this poem has many examples of personification now in simple uh, you can understand wherever we use pronoun for non living things that is always personification so you will see in the poem uh, god he you right in fact the beginning of the poem is don't don't do this so it is like you know you are commanding somebody not to do something so see again a person is there so personification so many examples of personification one of them i have given here you tore the pages of books right a poet says to wind you tore the pages of books you see it seems that poet is talking to someone in this case whom he is talking to wind so is wind a human being no but he is talking like he is talking to a human being so that is personification metaphor well metaphor is comparison like i have mentioned in the previous video so metaphor is comparison however in comparison the objective is to highlight quality of a thing with another example right so here you will see again there are few more examples of metaphors in this poem i have picked one of them you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings now see uh, the comparison is with wind to a strong person if a person is bully like a bodybuilder or some kind of uh, you know person who is very strong and who has bossy nature he will always try to take advantage of weak people right in the same way wind has that nature so the comparison is between wind the quality of force strong nature of wind is being compared with a strong person so this is the sentence you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings so wind is very clever at doing something which is a metaphor actually wind is not clever but metaphorically it is it's a metaphor now the fourth uh, figure of speech is by the way literary device figure of speech both are same okay so fourth one is repetition now what is repetition well repetition meaning that if something comes again and again that is repetition here in a poem repetition is a word or phrase that comes at more than one place so you will see the word crumbling has come four or five times in fact in consecutive lines so crumbling rafter crumbling you know pillars crumbling lives crumbling hearts so you can see crumbling word is repeated so that is repetition next is anaphora now what is anaphora see anaphora uh, kind of you know it is very it is ear pleasing sound anaphora anaphora this is new one uh, what is anaphora when a poem has two or more than two lines 
beginning with the same kind of word or phrase that is anaphora okay so that is anaphora again you know so many devices and it seems like all devices have same role to play but no there will be minute difference between all of them so anaphora meaning repetition of a word or phrase but in the beginning of the line see repetition is repetition of a word or phrase anywhere scattered in the poem will you say repetition anaphora no anaphora is a kind of repetition but that repetition must occur in the beginning of the line so the poem begins with don't don't do this don't do that so you will see three four lines have the same beginning phrase which is don't right anaphora is there uh, last but not the least symbolism before i come to the explanation of symbolism i have one very important point to make now what is the use of knowing these literary devices well they carry weight because in each and every exam you will be asked few questions from literary devices so if you have clear cut understanding of these devices you will gain marks without any difficult difficulty because they are very easy to understand and very simple to figure out from the poem symbolism is symbol so symbol meaning like what is the symbol of unity right you will see that uh, two palms clasping each other that is symbol of unity or many people in circle holding each other's hand that is symbol of unity <clears throat> what is symbol of a strength so you will see this is symbol of a strength so what is the symbol of this poem well there are two symbols in this poem number one is the act you remember that uh, the poem says that wind winnows winnowing meaning jisko hindi mein kehte hain chhatni karna i had explained in the <coughs> video when i was explaining the poem that winnow is an action of separating heavy things from lighter ones right so that is one symbol wind is symbolized with winnower like it winnows it separates so that is a symbol now symbol is connected to gender life as well right so whosoever is powerful or destructive in more appropriate word whosoever or whatsoever is destructive will always separate right weaker things stronger things second symbol is uh, you remember the phrase which has have come in the poem is uh, strong fires and weak fires now strong fires mean <coughs> a strong people people with courage and uh, Uh, commitment determination so they are strong fires however the opposite side is weak fires what kind of people the people who have uh, like uh, less determination uh, less amount of courage so they are weak people. so those are two symbols that's why symbolism is present in the poem so here was uh, a simple explanation of the literary devices from poem wind chapter 2 book beehive like uh, the previous video i would like you if you are watching this video you are understanding these concepts i hope but one time uh, will not be enough you have to watch the same video a couple of more times so that you get familiar with these tricky things gradually it will become easier and in the coming explanations you don't have to do a lot of task because once you do all these things same figure of speech is will start repeating themselves in upcoming video so do some hard labor make them uh, you know make them easily understandable for yourself i'll see you in the next video bye